Hej. What's up? You got a camera today? Yeah, I told you we're starting the vlogs this week. Oh, I'm camera shy. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> You're gonna figure it out. Dude. Okay, have you been here before? Yeah, I remember I was here for freshman cuts. Freshman cuts. So those were a good time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wanna. I know I was telling you. So we we picked the three. Uh -huh. Which is viral, small, I never felt this way. Right. But then I found out that he liked the first three a lot, and so he wants to do another three. Uh -huh. So I think we're probably, we'll start working on those before like this like comes out. Yeah. Um, the first one comes out. So I want to show you one of the possibilities real quick. Okay, real should quick. I follow you back there? Uh, I'll try the guitar. You like okay. this? Okay, okay, okay. So this one, I I woke up at like, <laughs> I don't know what, I, I think I like, I like ate something that night. And I was just like, I was like, it wasn't feeling well. So I was kind of like waking up through the night. And then I, I, I was just like, I'm not even gonna try to go back to bed. And I was like, maybe I can like get some sort of like song out of this. Um, and lately I've been trying to like put a box, like put myself in a box because like, I feel like whenever you can like write anything, you're not gonna have like any direction. And I was like, a song that I want to write, I was like on my list to write. I was like, I want to write a slow dance song, but like more specifically like a fifties slow dance song. And it was it was one of those like like first like on the rip things like I was just like I need to like just like down chug, and then I was like, hmm. honey, let's run away, make our great escape. We'll change our names, and live life like a movie scene. You'll be Monroe, and I'll be James Dean. Pack our bags and go Somewhere that we can be Free From this reality In a world that's always busy I can't find the time I Take it slow And throw away your phones I'll pull you close Nothing between you and me And call me old fashioned but the magic Take my hand and dance till sunrise. So that's like, dang. You liked it? Yeah. I didn't know. I was like, I didn't even want to show it because like that's nothing like I do. Dude. Because I normally like, I'm singing like as high as I can, and I was like, what if I just like sing with like in a lower register? Dang. And so maybe it would be cool if I I like, did a song. Like, Dude, that hour. if you already have the main three. You have to put that in the next three. That one is you think good. So? That one's good. I really like that. It's, it I, like you said. It's like a different style than what you usually do, but it sounds really good. Could you dance to it? Could you see people dancing? Oh, to I it? could definitely see people it? dancing to it. I feel like that's like the perfect slow dance song. Well, and it's it's also like something like. I mean, I think it's is important for just everyone to hear because like we're living like the like everything's trying to distract you, right? Mm -hmm. So like let's let's. Throw away the phone and let's, let's just dance. I don't know. I've got to keep writing and stuff. I don't know if it's like a like a lead single type thing. Mm -hmm. but I mean, like, who knows? Dude, I don't know. That was sounded pretty good to me. We did, we did. I didn't think Fireball was going to be on it. And I thought, yeah. 
I thought uh, that's true. I thought the big tuna. Dude, the, <laughs> was the, the big tuna. Big tuna. <laughs> Rest in peace, the big tuna. Okay, um, so so what do we got going today? Like, what are we what are we doing? What's the plan? Well, we gotta go gotta go to Walmart because I <laughs> I played a gig at oh, I call it a gig, but I played at a church and I left <laughs> the cord there and my XLRs. I got I got a new XLR, but I went to Guitar Center yesterday to get the cord and like we don't have the cord for the Helix. It's like, but you sell the Helix. And so I, I picked it up at Walmart for like really cheap, mm -hmm. but it's just like a, your like typical like computer, like like cord that goes into it. And so we're gonna pick that up today, um, and then we're gonna go to Dairy Barn, which you've never been to, right? No, I've never been it's to Dairy like, Barn. It's like where it's where my mom went to high school, uh -huh. and it's still it's just like it's like a good cheap burger. Like you know, there's like there's I feel like every small town you know has to have a like good cheap burger place, mm -hmm. and this one this one's yeah, dude. this one's pretty darn good. That's so we're exciting. So we're gonna go do that. Um, and then come back and I don't know, do some TikToks, marketing, planning, figure out how the heck, cause this album is going to come out in like three weeks if we want it to. Yeah. Like geez. Oh, cause geez. it's done in two. And then, which is a lot faster than we thought. We thought it was going to take, get in there and it'd take like months and to do stuff. But first recording day is Monday. So that just puts it into, it's like crap. It's like, you gotta get it out of the way. We don't have a plan. Yet. That's freaking wild yeah. to think about. Cause I actually, you know, I want people to know that I have an album out. So. Yeah, well, it's these vlogs are hopefully going to help with that, so. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're, okay. we're going to go now. Welcome to Red. Red needs an oil change real bad. But that's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> as, long as, as long as it doesn't blow up on us. All right, I was also, what do you think about the idea of, like, taking, like, because classical songs are public domain, right? Uh, like if they're a hundred years old. I mean, yeah, the the music is the recordings, not not exactly. No, but what if what if you? Yeah, so I, I play the music. I rewrite Claire de Lune, and like sing over it. Jeez. I feel like that could be. <laughs> Which one is that one? It's this one. Hold on. Dude, I just, <sighs> you just have to zoom. Don't walk towards me. I mean, it's, I kind of feel like I'm in that do or die uh, point. I'm in that do or die point with like my career. Um, so I've been, I've been having dreams. And last night I woke up four times. Um, and in the dream, like I, I can't, people are like asking me, they're like, they're looking for me. And they're wondering, like they're like they're calling for me, but I can't, I can't tell them where I am, and I can't even move. Like I, I can barely see. I don't even know where I am. I just like feel stuck, and that's. I mean, it's not hard to interpret that dream because that's that's how I feel in my life right now. It's um, you know, my there's different expectations from from my family. It's like okay, you're you're a college grad, time to use your degree, um, and time to go go into your field and um, and advance your career. Um, but there's also, you know, this, this I have this opportunity with music, and I know if I if I don't give it everything I've got, I'm gonna regret it forever. Um, and so it's just I still I know like I, I I'm doing like I'm giving this my best shot, but I'm still I was watching the uh, Ed Sheeran documentary uh, on Disney Plus for his new album, and he said like, the best advice he gives people like what he did for himself is he didn't he only made a plan A, there was no plan B. Because he said, if you make a plan B, then you're just gonna, your mind, you're subliminally gonna not try as hard because you can fall back on it. But if it's if it's it, like you're gonna make it happen. And I feel like I'm I'm getting close to being ready to make that step. I'm so close to being there. But you know, there's there's, it's not easy. I'm not choosing the path of least resistance for sure. I'm I'm doing what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing, um, and what I feel like is right. Um, but it doesn't mean it's not hard. So it's just, it's just every day is a choice, right? Are you, are you committed today as you were yesterday? Um, and how hard are you going to work too? It's like, I, I really think that if you, if you, if you, whatever you want in life, you get everything you got, you can make, you can do it. You can make it. Um, so that's, that's where I am right now, but I'm, 
I'm approaching, you know, being able to make that choice. Like, okay, there's there's no plan B. Because, um, you know, plan B takes up time in my mind, right? Because I'm still, like, I'm still, like, doing stuff, like, applying for things behind the scenes and, like, trying mapping up, mapping out what that life would look like, too. And, you know, that's, that's a lot of energy that I could be spent just making this thing happen. But that's where I am right now. This is uh, over there. That's the school. Those are my. Uh, I play basketball. Those are the. Uh, those are the crosstown rivals. Uh, uh -huh. Ruined their senior night a few times. Pretty great. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sorry. <laughs> All right, so it's just the first day of vlogging, and I'm learning very quickly that everyone looks at you weird. They look, they look at you like you're you're crazy, or they think you're famous. Either one. There were there were two people at the uh, at the restaurant or the burger place, and they were just they, I, mean, I could tell like they're like whispering like who are those guys? Um, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, and I was just like, okay, if I want to see, I want to see where this can go. I'm just gonna give it my best shot, and I want to, I want to have every step of the way on the process. Like I want, I want to get the, the the highs and the lows. I want, because I want it to be real. Like I, I don't, I'm, I think a lot of people, um, like you know, they just want to put their best selves forward, but that's not that's not realistic. I'm trying to show just, just my real my real like journey to where I'm going. And so that's, that's what the vlogs are for, is I want whoever whoever wants to follow me and whoever wants to, to see, like, how I, especially, like, you know, like, one day to look back, it's going to be great, like, when this, when this all, when this all works out and I, and I get to go, uh, Red Rocks 2024, you know, when I, when I go, when I go play at these awesome venues, I'll get to look back, it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't always so easy, you know, I didn't have any, I started from nothing, and so that's what I think. That's why I wanted these vlogs, and why, that's why I think this journey is so special. So, whoever's watching this, I, uh, um, I'm excited for uh, the show, the show to see how it goes with everybody.